Hey guys, welcome to easyliving.com. The other day I had to renew my healthcare policy and to be honest I just signed the piece of paper without actually knowing what I've bought. I know it's a basic plan but what does that cover me for? If I break my arm, am I covered? What about regular doctor checkups? Like most of you I actually don't know the details. So I did a bit of research and staysmartstayhealthy.com was good enough to help out. Today's question, how do I choose the healthcare plan that's right for me? The simple answer is, to make the right decision, you need to ask yourself the right questions to assess your needs. Ready? Then take a good look at yourself and let's get started. Do you want basic or more comprehensive coverage? Basic plans protect your finances in the event of a major illness or injury. They're not designed to cover more routine medical expenses. That's why monthly premiums are lower. Let's say our friend Gary, who is usually very healthy, has an unfortunate experience while ballooning over the Alps. His basic plan would help save him from financial ruin by covering most of the major medical expenses he incurs. More comprehensive plans often include things like immunizations, checkups, and maternity care. But monthly premiums are higher. They're a good choice for people who expect to seek medical care more often. How much can you spend? Balancing cost and coverage is the key. Find out the plan's deductibles, co-pays, and the maximum amount of benefits you can receive over your lifetime. Know what your money is buying. Are you single or married? Do you have children? Picking the right insurance is a lot like buying a car. Is it a two-seater all you need, or will a van be a better choice on the road of life? Are you planning to have children? Then you need maternity coverage. Gary, our dad-to-be, should make sure that prenatal care labor and delivery are included in his plan. Does anyone who will be covered need prescription medication frequently? If so, a prescription drug benefit could be important. If the plan you're considering doesn't include it, you might want to purchase a prescription drug option or rider. Is your doctor part of the plan? Many plans cover a network of providers. To get the highest level of benefits, you need to use doctors and facilities that are part of the network. So be like Gary. Check the plan's provider directory to see if your physician is in it. Do you want easy access to specialists? For example, if Gary is having back trouble, he may want to go straight to the specialist his Uncle George swears by. Some plans would require him to get a referral from his primary care physician. And if the specialist isn't part of the network, some plans require him to pay a much higher portion of the cost. Do you have other specific needs? Maybe you're on the road a lot. If so, you might want a plan that will cover you whether you're in New York or New Guinea. Or maybe you need coverage for mental health or nursing care. Now's the time to think about it. How can you find out more? Attend employee meetings about your plan, go to seminars that are offered, and use the insurance company's website as a resource. To sum it up, to choose the plan that's right for you, ask yourself the questions that will help you assess your needs. Think about the ways you use health care, the medical needs you can foresee, and how you can balance cost and coverage. So now you know. Until next time. Well now you guys know what kind of questions you need to ask yourself when choosing a healthcare plan. Two other things I would suggest to you guys is both your age and what kind of lifestyle you lead. If you're younger, you won't need the same healthcare plan as someone who's older. And are you someone who's into extreme sports, for example? Snowboarding, skydiving, that kind of thing. Somewhere where you might be prone to accidents. Consider this when choosing a healthcare plan. I hope you guys have enjoyed the tips. If you have any of your own tips considering healthcare plans, let us know. We'd love to hear them. Don't forget to like us on Facebook, follow us on Twitter, and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Thanks guys for watching, and remember, if it's not easy, it's not easy living.